here's a little bonus video. I'm actually gonna show you in case I, I just was sitting here thinking, maybe people have never done embossing. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll show you. Now, all of this is predicated on that you have embossing powder, you have uh, an embossing stamp pad, okay? That's the two most important things. And if you don't have that, don't think like you have to run out and get this, you don't. I could have taken these and inked them up. There's a lot of things you can do. The trick is, as you can see, do you see these two giant bins right here? Okay. See all this? Do you see? I probably have like 50 embossing powders because I've been collecting these for 20 years. The other thing that I'm going to show you that I did in case you have a lot of embossing powders. So the trick is, so if you look at this pretty gold, do you see this? It's called Roman gold. Okay. And it looks like it's yellow gold. And then I've got this one that was called goddess gold, and it's got some white in it. But don't they look like they would be exactly the same? Well, what I did one day was I picked one up and I used it and I realized that wasn't even the color that I thought it was. So I took some pieces of paper, and this is what I'm suggesting you do. And I put some ink, I just, you know, took the embossing ink, put it on there. And then I used all the ones that, of course, I can't tell you what they really look like. Well, there's that princess gold that I just showed you. Okay, that was Roman gold. Here's princess gold. No, goddess gold. Who was the other one? Anyway, it's in here. And I went, these don't look anything like what I thought they were. So this actually is very helpful. African gold. Do you see how many that I have? Why I had to buy 20 million of these, I have no clue. What's this one? Of course, can I read half of them? No, I can't tell you what that one is. Anyway, so I have these on a little card. Look at mermaid tails. You wouldn't even know that that's what that looks like. So I basically did, um, there's the copper foil that I'm actually going to use. There's antique gold. There's another copper. Look, I get two different coppers, and they totally come out differently. Do you see that? I don't know if you can really see it. And that's copper foil, and that's copper. And then there's tarnished gold, which is like a pink in it. And what is this one? Oh, that's tarnished gold. And then there's Roman gold that I was just showing. If you could feel this, this has um, like glitter on it, okay? And you can feel it. And then there's gold. Look at the difference. They're gold, gold, but look at, see, can you see the difference in the colors? Okay, and then there's Java, which that's kind of ugly, to be honest. Anyway, and then there's, oh, there's that goddess gold. See all the white that's in it? So if you have a lot of embossing powders and you never did that, I strongly suggest take 15, 20 minutes and sit here and make it. Now, when I come over here and want to emboss something, I go, oh. Now, these colors, like lime green, teal, they're pretty much, that's the color that you see. So if you want to do all of yours, go right ahead. I just knew that the browns and the golds were ones that I could really not tell you how it was going to turn out, okay? So I have gone back and picked out, let me set that aside. I've picked out the three that I used. I've got the three pieces of, um, yes, Diane, what is this, leaves? <laughs> I can't think of what I'm thinking of. I'm going to set this aside because I don't want this to get covered with stuff. I got my heat gun, so you have to have a heat gun. That's the other thing. If you don't have a heat gun, it's not going to work. Okay, so I've got my heat gun out. So how did Diane do this? this oh, it's so hard. Ha, ha, ha. It's so hard. <laughs> Basically, I just went like this, and I just touched it. Now, you cannot probably see that. Can you see? Let me see. That it's like clear. There's like this color. And this is all I did. I just ran it on there in the middle because I felt like the color should come from the middle. Of course, it's fabric, and this is sticky, gluey stuff. Let me get a wiper for my fingers, okay? Because I don't want that on my fingers. And then what did I use? Okay, on that color, I used, I think, the copper foil. And here's the other thing you got to be really careful. So have an extra piece of paper. You're going to hold that and you're going to sprinkle a whole bunch on there. Okay. You sprinkle it all on there. You turn it over slightly, tap it. Okay. That's going to be pretty intense. Set it aside. Do not turn on your heat gun until you do this step. 
Why is this important? You would find out real quick because guess what? This is actually ground up plastic. And if you spray this all over your room, your table, you are gonna be the most unhappy woman ever because now you're gonna have a coat of plastic that you cannot get off of everything. So you see how I did that? Close that thing up. I'm gonna come over here and you know what? I need my uh, tweezers because this gets real hot. So I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna hold it with my left. And of course, these are gonna go flying away. And then we're gonna get the heat gun. And we are going to... <laughs> See, that's exactly what happens. That's why you have to hold on to it. The other thing, the other day when I did it, I was actually burning them, so you gotta be really careful. Well, you can't smell it, but I'm starting to smell it. Heat gun is really super hot. And how do you know it's done? See how it gets all shiny? Now, this looks totally different than the ones that I have on here. I used a different color, I did. And you know what, I did not put as much embossing um, powder on that. I mean, it's still pretty, but guess what? It's handmade, so it's kind of cool, right? So there's that one. Let's see if I can duplicate. Oh, the green, I know what I did on this one. The green one, but now how did I get this so it wasn't so thick? Let's see if I can do it again and do it better. Okay, maybe I just touched it. That's probably what I did. Where before I was just, I was really putting it on there thick. See, now I'm just putting, oh, I know what I did, look, I forgot. Okay, I just like rubbed it across. Different, it's gonna come out different, see? Okay, let's close that up. And I know I used this bronze patina because it's got this blue color in it, which I thought was kind of fun. So we'll do the same thing on this. <clears throat> you sprinkle your powder all over. Yeah, that's gonna come out different. Okay, kind of tap it to get the excess. Set it aside. Remember to put the excess away first. Okay. And put the lid on. <laughs> Two very important things. Now, I'm gonna cover this up because I don't want, it is actually flying around. You can't see it, but I can feel all these little things are flying around my room. Okay, let's do it this way. I'm right-handed. Maybe I can do it better this way. There you go. See how cool that is? So here's the two. And look at the totally different effects. But okay, that kind of looks like nature, right? So hopefully you get the point. I'm not gonna do the third one. But I just wanted to give you a little fun, little mixed media um, little video. And like I said, if you already have the embossing powders, cool. You'd have to have the embossing pad, okay? You have to have a heat gun. You have to have those these two things have to go together, embossing powder and embossing pad and embossing powder, and you have to have a heat gun, okay? And there's our leaves. Here's my original. They look pretty. They would, they would kind of work. So everybody's would be different if you did this. Enjoy!